M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So I had someone ask me today about tagging the names on a UV5R. So I thought, well, that's interesting. Um, how do you do that? And I went to the radio and what I did, I went into menu number 22. Um, and there was a, a, a section there where I could turn on, I could choose um, between, if I push menu, and then if you go with the up and down arrow here, you can choose whether you want it to display frequency, name, or channel number. Yeah? So we want name. So we're going to go to name for now. Okay? So we'll hit menu. So, uh, and that's that selected. Okay? Now we can come out of that. Can't remember how to come out of it, but we'll turn it off and on. We've got the lead in, that's why it's silent. So at the moment, you can see on the B band um, that it's got a name. And on the A band, it hasn't, because there's nothing, there's no names programmed in the A band. Not for the frequency I'm using. So, but when you go into menu 22, you can select whether you want to do it on you know, name on A and B. So just do the up and down arrows to decide if you want names, channels, or frequencies showing. Okay, so that's that sorted. But as far as I can see, you cannot add names. Um, you have to put them into Chirp first. So Chirp, uh, a free program for basically programming your radio using your computer. So go to Chirp, uh, just type in Chirp, download, and you'll come to this page. There's, I'll put the link in anyway into uh, the video. And then click download, and, it, and then click keep. And then it, I've already run it, but let's just run it just so you can see. I mean, it might not run because I've already got it. No, it's not going to run because I've already downloaded it. But anyway, you run it, go to the end. And you'll end up with chirp. Now chirp, when it's blank, so I'll click find blank, I'll click new. Yeah? When you first add it, it's gonna do this. So first thing to do is go to radio here. Um, and uh, go download from radio. Do, do, do. Now it's gonna ask you for what model you've got. So I've got a UV5R both and I know I'm on COM9. We we'll just quickly talk about the lead. So let me just cancel that for the moment. So the lead, you're going to need a programming lead. There's loads available. I mean, that one's cheap, £1.89. I've never seen them that cheap before. 227 ah, 430 postage. I thought that was expensive. You're looking around a fiver anyway. So, so get yourself a lead, and it'll, if you want the more expensive one that's got the F, is it the FTDI chip inside where you don't need, uh, you don't need the driver? Yeah, why not? Uh, but I got the, this one here uh, and with a CD. But as it happened, I plugged it into Windows 10 and it worked without the CD. I don't really know why uh, Windows had that driver. Anyway, so back to Chirp. You've downloaded it. You've got the lead. You've plugged the lead in the radio. I'll just sh show you that mine is plugged in now. Just lift this camera up a bit. You can see there's the lead in the PC. And it's in the radio, and that's why the radio at the moment is silent. Okay. So, then we go back to Chirp. You get this, like, serial port type um, shortcut. Go to Chirp. We'll take the full screen up. So, imagine we've just added it. Now, you want to find the driver. So, right-click and go to Device Manager. And if you found it... Let's just click out of that. If you found it, don't go to ports and it will say USB serial CH340. And it won't be COM9, it'll be whatever COM you found. Now, if, you, if you're not sure, just unplug it. If I unplug mine now, watch, chat, COM port 9 is vanished. Plug it back in and it appears. So just look out for CH340. So we know that the lead's working good. So now we want to go back, choose our radio. So we'll, we'll select download from radio. And 
and then we'll click UV5 out and we'll click OK and we'll go OK and it's now you can see the radio I think flashing away and so that's cloning okay because I've got a few memories stored in there and I've had this radio five years so now select the one it's just done because we've got a few other ones here we don't want, really want them we don't want that one we don't want that one and uh, what's that one no we don't want that one right okay so this is what's in the radio right now so let's just go through and just add some names so here we'll just put instead of just bc we'll put in gb3 bc what I'll do, I'll, pa I'll pause the video and I'll add a load of names. So we've added a few in, and if you can look, we've added, I've got my couple of all-star nodes running here, so they have a simplex frequency. Look, 77 there, you can change the tone, and, the, and I, you can change the type of tone. So all-star would probably have a tone squelch, I would say tone squelch so you get the idea and we've added the name and uh, channels 20 and 21 is what I'm interested in we've got lots of stuff here and uh, we can put one here look we'll go uh, GB 3 WR we'll do tone squelch we'll choose 94.8 now duplex I would say that's a good point, actually. What do you select when you're on a... It's 0 0.60000 is the... And so I've programmed it in there. I'm not sure if it works differently when you program it by hand than it does when you program it by memory. But is it letting me split? I'll just go to off. It's definitely not duplex, is it? Or, or can I click none? There you are, click none. Like that one's none. What are these ones? They're just blank. That's what, I'll choose. Uh, oh, I know what it is. It's a minus shift. See, see, I'm learning. Right, okay. G with your WR. And you click minus shift. Sorry about that. So you've got minus plus, yeah, I'll get it. So minus, course. Um... Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, plus shift there, tone squelch. And oh, look, you can select the tone. So the tone squelch, and then the tones are listed underneath. Because so, we've got tone squelch just underneath that. So, okay, and we're going to go file, and we're going to save. And the first time you save, it'll tell you to choose a file somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to send that to the radio. So upload to radio. It's all connected, so watch the radio. There you go. It's all pre-selected. Click OK. OK. So we're going to send that across. And then what we'll do, we'll just turn it on. See if the memories are there. Just double check that we've told the radio to view using the name. Now, there's probably settings to do that, I would guess. Here in settings, we probably can't do it. Right, well, that's finished doing its sending thing. Let's just have a quick look at settings. Advanced basic settings is you can change squelch, battery saver, timeout on the light. Because that's always way too, way too quick, isn't it? Oh, I've just done 24. Beep, yeah, I'm all right with the beep. Timeout, timer. Let's do that to 180. Ah, here it is. So look, in a basic settings, display mode um, we've got name well we could go channel or frequency so we'll keep name uh, standby LED color is blue uh, purple TX color let's choose well, actually orange is all right uh, and then uh, receive LED orange yeah I'm all right with the colors that we've got Roger beat better not do that advanced what's all that Vox 
broadcast, yeah, okay, work mode, don't know what that is, FM preset, yeah, that seems okay, DTMF, never used that, so look, some settings there for DTMF, service settings, yeah, so let's just uh, send that to the radio again, upload to radio, click OK, and then we'll then we'll have a last little play with the radio, and then we'll call it a day. Bit boring, but okay, that's done. And then we'll save it. File. Click save. So we've got the latest. Right, let's go to the radio. I'll just make it bigger on the screen so we can have a better look. So let's just do that. We're using OBS to do this particular video. So if I go like that, we'll make it a lot bigger on the radio. Right. Okay. So. So back to the radio, so if we go up and down now, on, there you are, look, the ones that we named, look, you can see, if I unplug it so you can hear it as well, just turn it off and on. Yeah, so you can see now. It says All Star, and on the bottom it says, if we go to B, it says GB3, WB, Four, and ZB. Three, These are all the ones I've changed. Zero, one, and then two, we go A. There you go. Seven, the ones that are, haven't one, got the names, one, I haven't added one, the name yet, there you are. And then what we'll lastly show you again is if you want to tell it to show names, just go menu, menu 22. If you want to do B, select the menu and then go up and down with the arrow, choose name, hit menu again. And then if you want to go to A, same again, hit menu, um, then go up and down whether you want channels, frequencies or name, click menu. And that's it. So I hope this video helps. Uh, 7-3, all the best.